scariest thing in the world. Just dropped the camera out of the work truck, took a shot. I think it's gonna be all right. Heart dropped. All right, hey guys, so I just stopped here at the, uh, at the laundromat real quick, which is my dad's house. Um, and right now, I just wanna tell you guys that, so it's been, what, just about a week and a half now? So it's been about a week and a half now since I ended the cut. And since then, what I've done, been doing is just like intuitive eating. Now, if you guys never heard of intuitive eating, it's just kind of getting in touch with, I guess that's what I say, is getting in touch with your body. And knowing you know, when you're actually hungry, you eat. You don't just eat because, you know, it's noon and it's lunch. You just, if it's 11.40 and you're hungry, that's when you eat. If it's not until two o'clock when you're hungry, that's when you eat. Um, so I've kind of just been doing that. Um, and I think, honestly, I've been, probably been staying about the same macros, probably a little higher on fats um, and carbs than I was before, but not by much. And then probably about the same for proteins um, from doing that. But anyways, um, in this video, so the cut's over. And in this video, I'm going to kind of explain to you guys what it is that I do from day to day and what my life is like and how busy it is. And then how I still get fitness into my life almost every single day. Or I do get it in every day. So yeah, the cut's over, and I wanted to kind of show you guys, explain to you guys how I get fitness into my my life every day, um, and how I make time for the gym and whatnot. So life can seem really hard and really busy with work, relationships, family, school, whatever it is that takes up so much of your time that it seems so hard. But you no, know, no one thing. If you if you're just starting to go to the gym or you want to get into the gym. Uh, all you need is 30 minutes to an hour to just start it. Because once you start going to the gym or you start walking or running, you start some kind of physical activity that you do every day, it just becomes a habit, right? And once things become a habit, they just become easy and it's natural and you don't even think about it, honestly. So, for me, my average day, I get up around six o'clock, which is a pretty average time, Monday through Friday, even Saturday and Sunday. Um, and then, I work, I uh, work a lot of different things. So I, uh, I work full time for a company called Blue Seal, uh, which you guys see me wearing the gear for that all the time. Um, I drive a uh, truck for them, like I do deliveries to farms and warehouses and stuff like that. Um, and then I work, so I work there four days a week, 40 hours a week, uh, full time, 10 hour days. And then I also work for a company called Olympia Sports, which is a athletic apparel store. Uh, I work for them, you know, once a week, but you know, like an eight-hour shift or something like that, as a sales associate. And then I also um, do landscaping, like lawn care, something like that, on the side uh, with a company that me and my, uh, me and a friend of mine have started uh, called Fresh Cuts. And then me and that, me and that same that same buddy, we are also slowly building a brand called Sailor Social Performance. Um, you know, we want to do shirts, blended bottles. You know, a few years into the future, maybe start dipping into supplements and stuff like that, creating pre workouts and, and that sort of deal. Um, and then I'm also going back to school, so I start school back on August second. I'm um, going for nutrition science. So I have a ton going on all the week. I'm always, always working. You know, I essentially have four jobs that I'm working between Blue Seal, Olympia, landscaping, and the fitness brand, Seal Social Performance. So how do I get fitness into my life every day? And that's what I'm gonna show you guys in this video right now. All right, so let me just explain to you guys like how it kind of looks like for me today. So today I got out of work at 5:30. Got there at 5, got there at 7:30. Got out at 5:30, and it is now just a little bit past six, I believe. Let me double check here. Um, yeah, so it's 6:30 actually, and I am on my way to go mow a lawn real quick. Small job, just a push mower job. It's actually a favor, so it's not even like I'm not even making any money off of this one. Um, but I'm gonna do that get that done and Then I'm gonna head back to my apartment possibly shower real quick before I go to the gym which I know sounds weird But I love doing that. I don't know why it's weird. We all do weird things. But anyways That's kind of you know and the whole the like the mowing lawns after work thing is kind of a regular thing for me now Or becoming a more regular thing like last night I was mowing a lawn until like 8:30 at night. It's a big property 
Um, and then I got to the gym, it was like 9.30, and I busted like a quick 30 minute bicep workout, just like so got a huge pump as fast as I could. Um, you know, so I always just, it's a habit to go to the gym, so I just, I just make it happen. That's the thing, you guys you gotta, it's gotta be something you want, it's gotta become a habit, and you just gotta make it happen. Um, so anyways guys, I'm gonna go get this done, take care of this, and hopefully see you guys at the gym. We're back in the apartment right now. Um, just took a shower before going to the gym because that mowing was a little bit more than I expected and I felt, you know what I mean, you feel gross and you go to the gym feeling gross, you don't get a good workout. So just a quick shower, but anyways, uh, I finished that up just after 8, got back to my apartment around 8.30ish. Uh, shower cleaned up and it's just, you know, it's like 5 and 9 right now. Uh, gym closes at 10, so we got to hustle on over there, get a good leg workout in, and then we'll probably end up going for a run just because kind of the workout's going to be short, so we might as well go for a run and get a little bit of extra cardio in, um, get a little bit more of a leg workout in. But the whole point of this and what you guys should take away from this is I don't have enough time to get my normal workout in, right? Like what I have set in my mind to do for a workout and get done, I don't really have time to do today. Um, and I'm still going to make it to the gym. I'm still going to get the best workout I can and then I'm going to improvise by, by using a run to improve leg day uh, because I don't generally go for a run on leg day because I'm, you know, it's leg day. Um, but anyways, guys, that's, that's the whole thing. So you can always fit it in and it, you know, for me, it's generally at night. I could also try and fit it in in the morning if that's where I wanted to, you know, wake up a little bit earlier, go to the gym, shower at the gym, go to work, you know, all those different kind of things. Alright, hey guys. So, obviously it's the next day. We're in something completely different here. Uh, but anyways, last night I did that workout, that leg workout. Went for a quick run. Came home. So I got home. So I worked out at the gym till 10. Went for a run. By the time I got home, it was like quarter of 11. Um, and then came home and I had like a small little bit to eat. Uh, like some, uh, I think I had just like a piece of chicken breast or something like that. Um, and then I stayed up till... Just past midnight doing some stuff for my uh, GI Bill benefits uh, for me uh, since I'm going back to school. So I did all like the applications and research and stuff like that on which one to apply for um, and then applied for it and stuff like that. So my whole point here is that my day was long, right? So I got up at 6 a.m. I went to bed just past midnight and then I got up again at 6 a.m. So it's, my day's definitely long and a lot of work and just like not go 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 but just have you know one thing you do after another and I still get fitness into it it's a like I said it's a dedication to it to making it into a habit so if you want to be better in life fitness wise just dedicate yourself to making it a habit because once it's a habit it just became it just becomes too easy so if you guys can take anything away from this video it's just that you can make the time to do it you just have to want to make the time to do it and that's probably the biggest thing with everything you do in life is if you want it you have to actually want it and make the time to make it happen so guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you got a little bit of information out of it kind of figure out how you can work into fitness into all your days uh, but anyways guys i will see you guys in the next one